Job hunting is a bit like dating. Two parties are gauging each other to see if the other satisfies particular, often hidden, criteria before committing into any formal agreement. In this dance, it is not uncommon for both parties to embellish their offers, with the hope of getting more than they bring to the table. From the employer's side, they boast a menagerie of inconsequentials, like unlimited coffee, corporate social events, we are like a family. From the employee's side, every experience is a vehicle to inject the latest buzzword skill, agile, adaptable, and AI savvy, hoping that it is still in vogue by the time their CV is reviewed. In this exchange, there is a flood of noise and a faint signal. In the end, you want an applicant, not an applicant. Which brings us to certifications as signals of ability. Are they worth it? But first, a word from our sponsors. The Math Merc is a brain for hire. So if you have a need for someone that can code, math and communicate to a layman, then ask and ye shall receive. I will now list certification considerations in a way that is neither complete nor unbiased. First consideration, the half-life of facts. Information decays over time as time makes fools of us all. Sure, the magnetic permeability of iron may only change in the mantissa, but corporate regulations is in capricious flux. This means that certifications founded on short-lived information in turn age like milk. Second consideration, licenses, guilds, and sacred orders. There is a covenant between experts and society. Take electricians, for example. You can't just let any clown go to town on the wiring. Therefore, only licensed individuals may practice the trade. However, this means that the institution becomes opaque to outside inspection due to layers of bureaucracy. As a result, only the initiated can scrutinize the institution. This is an acceptable trade-off because electricians are useful and faulty wiring is lethal. My grief is with inconspicuous consultancies that freeze million euro housing projects on the basis that it will disturb the mating patterns of the mildly endangered speckled newt. Third consideration, filters and unnatural selection. A test that fails no one is useless. The whole point of a certification, or a degree for that matter, is to have a respectable institution stake their reputation on your ability to perform a specialized task that few others can. Math time. Assume the hiring manager is using Bayes' theorem to update his belief on a prospective candidate's future performance. Unlikely, I know, but bear with me. Then passing an easy test would be tantamount to a trivial marginal, thus the posterior distribution is equal to the prior distribution. Hence, his belief of the candidate's ability is entirely unaltered by the candidate having passed the test. In conclusion, I don't know what counts for what in this wacky world of certifications. All I know is that I must move forward, break from the herd, and stand up.